What is going on my fitness fam? Coach Jay in the house. The house that Airdrie built. Here for another edition of Technique Tuesday. So the movement that I chose today, if you're fortunate enough to get it, is going to be a ab exercise. So a lot of core engagement here. Uh, so this one, we're gonna grab a dumbbell, we're gonna grab a BOSU, uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna overload the one side, we're gonna engage the abs, uh, engage more of the obliques, we're gonna force the core to engage more because we're overloading that one side with that dumbbell. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like here. So with that dumbbell, you're gonna hold it now, one arm. You're gonna sit at the edge of the BOSU here. You're gonna lean back, okay? So if you lean back more, you're gonna feel that stretch in the abs, which means you're gonna end up recruiting more muscle fibers. You're gonna point that dumbbell up to the ceiling, and then you're just gonna sit up and then stand up. You're gonna come down, do that again, and then you're gonna alternate hands. Again, try to recruit as many muscle fibers as you can by leaning back, and then stand up, all right? so. If you don't have a BOSU and you want to do this online, you want to do that at home workout, same thing. We're just going to lay down until your shoulders are flat on the floor. You're going to sit up. If you want, you can stand up to add that Turkish get up movement to it. If not, we're just going to overload that one side and then you're just going to fully sit up and then alternate arms and then sit up. Okay? So a few different options there to do at the studio, to do at home, but basically we're overloading that one side, forcing the core to engage a lot more. We want to create that balance, stability in the shoulder, stability in the wrist, but then recruiting as many muscle fibers as we can in the core, including the obliques. Try that out. Let me know how that goes and hopefully we'll see you soon. Peace.